Welcome everybody, Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, nice to have you along for the ride. This is our match today, Exeter City against Walsall. This is the home team lineup, 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually, because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. Now this looks promising. He's aiming for the front post, but well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Norris. Delivery to the far post. It is a success for the host today, based so far on shutting out the opposition. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. Please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Quick witted, quick in his movement too to intercept there. Here's a chance to attack. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. A goal from uh, Coventry. It's a goal for Coventry City. 18 minutes played, 1 0. Oh, interesting news again from Keeper's Ball. Roberts. And that will be a goal kick. Craig. He's cut that out well, well read. Good forward play from them. Shot shot! That's a good block. Goal news from Northampton. It's a goal for Northampton Town. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Jordan got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. To put them in front. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. chance oh, no scraps for the attackers to feed off from the goalkeeper that time I'm on to the ball well I think Callum the home team trying to get the ball in behind just the keeper to beat struck the post here they've got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous in with a chance it's a save with a degree of comfort, Alan. Yeah, that was never going to finish up a goal. Now that will be a corner. In goes the corner. Played away, well away from goal. Now the shot! That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper.
So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Referee blows and we're off for the second half. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. That's gone out for a throw-in. Could get the ball into the box now. Good defending. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Can go in from here. Cutting in now. Goal news involving Bradford. It's the second goal from Bradford City. 54 minutes played. He's in. He's in now. Here's the chance. Has to score in really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. And it's going to be a substitution now for this team. There's well, good progress with this attack. Little. The shot's on! Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Defender on his toes. There's been a penalty involving Charlton. It's a penalty for Charlton Athletic. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps up to take it. Strike. Power to the goalkeeper's left. Absolutely no chance. Great goal. 63 minutes played. 2 1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Attacking well here. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Let's see what the ref's going to do. And this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. of a goal from Shrewsbury. It's a second goal for Shrewsbury Town. 68 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Thank you very much, Alan. Good forward play from them. Spotted that well and intercepted. Goal news from Gillingham. It's the second goal for Doncaster Rovers. 74 minutes played. 2-0. Oh, interesting news again for... ...from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. And they've cut it out. Roberts. now 
Well, they keep moving the ball here. He can put them in front. And up went the flag. Offside given. Free kick. Well, they're going to shuffle the pack a bit now. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. A goal from uh, Plymouth. It's a second goal for Portsmouth. Three minutes remain. 2 1. Cheers, Alan. That's good movement forward here. Probing with the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, can only... How's he done that? It's a fantastic save. Lovely ball. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Well, that is the final whistle, and it's finished all square. Well, there we are. That's the final score, and it's finished level. English Football League 1. Bradford City, 2. Notts County, 2. Bristol Rovers, 1. Milton Keynes Dons, 0. Burton Albion, 2. Wickham Wanderers, 1. Bury, 0. Blackburn Rovers, 2. Charlton Athletic, 2. Peterborough United, 2. Coventry City, 1. Rotherham United, 2. Exeter City, 0. Walsall, 0. Gillingham, nil. Doncaster Rovers, two. Northampton Town, one. Oldham Athletic, nil. Plymouth Argyle, one. Portsmouth, two. Shrewsbury Town, two. Wigan Athletic, two. Southend United, two. Barnsley, one. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Blackburn Rovers with 48 points. In second, Exeter City with 38 points. In third, rising up the table are Portsmouth with 37 points.